Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be slicing up our designs in Prusa Slicer. So Prusa Slicer, I believe, is a version of an open source slicing software called Super Slicer. Uh, but I've been using it lately and I really like it. Uh, so this is Prusa Slicer. You can download it for free. I'll put a link in the description. And today I'm just going to bring in our designs and do a quick, um, quick slicing overview. This program, all these slicers are really complex and amazing. Um, I like to just focus more on the design side of 3D printing. So we've teamed up with my buddy Ed over at the Institute of 3D Printing. And there you can take all of his super advanced slicing courses. Uh, he wa really wants you to be able to dial in your printer and get like perfect prints for you. So if you are you know, very curious with slicing uh, profiles and just all that you can do. You can take Cura courses, Prusa uh, Slicer courses, and Simplify 3D courses. I've taken a lot of them. Uh, he's got them beginner ones, intermediate ones, and advanced. Uh, highly recommend taking those. You're going to learn a ton. So I'll put a link in the description, but for now, let's bring in our designs. So just click this little, little square with a plus here, and we're going to navigate to our STLs folder, and let's just shift click and bring all these monkeys in. So all of our monkeys are gonna come in. I'm just gonna hit A to arrange. And it's saying it's a little too, you know, they're not fitting. <laughs> so I'm just gonna click on these individually and kind of just move these into the area here and just manually do it. These monkeys probably are a little too big and I, I wouldn't recommend printing all of these at once, but I just want to show that you can. Um, it does say that we have some issues on our low poly and our sculpted modifiers here. So it says we got some backward edges, some facets removed, and 16 facets reversed, or face reverse, reversed faces. And we've got uh, one reversed face on this one as well. So we're gonna just print and see if we can get, uh, see if it'll print over it. Um, but if not, we can always jump back into Blender and address those with the 3D print toolbox. So again, just make sure you've arranged, you know, or pick in, or chosen the uh, the design you want to print. You know, again, I wouldn't print all of these, but we're just gonna do it just to, to kind of test them. So it's gonna go a little slower, but I just wanna see them all together as a little family, a little design family we've created. And so here we've got all of our designs. Then next you would go to your print settings. You would have to set up your printer. Um, I'm just gonna use the CR10 and you can do the layer height, which I could do maybe like point. But two is pretty standard. Uh, your infill uh, is, you know, 20% is pretty standard, 20, 30%, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, if you want a skirt or a brim, um, that's just kind of little outlines um, or kind of primers before it actually starts creating your designs. I'm going to leave it off, but feel free to turn that on if you want. Uh, support material, uh, I'm going to uncheck this. I don't want any support material on our design here, and I don't want any wraps. So let's just leave that turned off and on zero. And you can change your filament settings if you you know want to change your temperatures and your print settings if you have any printer settings that you want. Notice I'm an expert. Uh, you can always you know go to simple, and that's going to simplify everything uh, for you. But uh, I want you to be expert uh, eventually, so just start off simple if this is your first time. And let's get to slicing. So you can go back to your platter and just slice it on up. And so it's gonna kind of figure out the G code down here in the bottom and just kind of sit there and wait. Notice you've got your plat, you kind of like your layout platform where you can prepare your designs. And then this little view here is your preview of the G code. See how it's all sliced up? So this is your objects and this is your G code. And you can toggle back and forth between those. Uh, once you've sliced things. So this is taking quite a second because uh, we have a lot of, of geometry going on here. And you can see, we can still see it uh, and scrub through it, but it's still processing some stuff here. So I'm just gonna let that finish. And it looks like it's taking quite a while because we have got a lot of geometry going on here uh, coming out of Blender. And so there we go. Again, it still says it's gonna take about one and a half days. So I would suggest, you know, not printing all these at once unless you just are very skilled at printing. But if this is your first time, I would definitely recommend just printing one of the objects. So that is all I have for this lesson. Good job if you made it this far. Um, if you are already familiar with 3D printing, go ahead and print these monkeys out and post anything that you print on the Discord. We would love to see it and just would make me really happy uh, to see your remixed monkey designs. 
And if you're not familiar with 3D printing, you can jump into the next section where we're going to show you my basic FDM and resin printing workflows. Or if you're interested in other slicing softwares like Simplify 3D or um, Chittabox uh, for resin, then stay tuned for the next few episodes.